Nathan Dahlstrom is joining us in studio today. Mr. Dahlstrom is a celebrated author and we're fortunate to have him as a teacher at Hutchinson Middle School. And today we're talking about his latest project and other news. And so Mr. Dahlstrom, thank you for joining us today on Highlights. Thanks for having me. Of course. And so first, um, for folks who may not be familiar, tell, tell our viewers a little bit about what you do outside of school with your writing. I started teaching at Hutch 10 years ago when I also had my first book coming out. And so I have a passion for literature and for writing, and I've had a great mentor in that, uh, John Erickson that writes Hank the Cowdog, and he's mentored me for a lot of years. And so when you're around writing, you love writing, eventually you start writing your own book. And so I had a book come out about a 13-year-old character named Wilder Good 10 years ago, and that began a series that I've written now for, for a while. The eighth book just came out in The Adventures of Wilder Good. And as you've gone through these writing projects with your books, what do you really hope to accomplish with your readers? What I hope to accomplish, uh, I've, I'm raising my own children. And when I started raising my own children about 20 years ago, I went to Barnes & Noble and I wanted to buy them books. And I didn't like a lot of the books that they were offering. The books I read when I was a kid were about how to be strong, how to be brave. Uh, how to be true, how to be courageous. And I didn't see a whole lot of books being published with those themes. And so I sat down and said, well, I'll just write my kids my own books. Storytelling is so important because you read stories and then you begin to fit yourself into those stories. And so that's what I hope the books will do. I hope they're entertaining. A book has to succeed as a piece of entertainment first. Uh, but if there's a secondary benefit, I hope it helps craft a vision and a story of who, who a child could become someday. And you actually have won a lot of awards for your writing, and you have one that you're about to receive in April. Um, tell us about some of those, and especially this one coming up, which is pretty prestigious. Okay, well, uh, I've been very fortunate to have a great publisher in Philadelphia, Paul Dry Books, and they do a great job of telling people about the series, and so really all the credit is due to them. But uh, there's a big museum, the National Western Heritage and Cowboy Hall of Fame is what it's called, and they have a series of awards every year called the Western Heritage Awards, and they give you a 30-pound bronze cowboy, and uh, I've been able to win that several times, and my newest book, Heartwood Mountain, just won that, so that'll be uh, in early April, and I'll go there, and there's always a bunch of really interesting people. Reba is going to be there and get an award this year, and lots of movie stars and different people, uh, John Wayne's son, and grandchildren, people like that out there. And so their job is to make sure the Western story continues. And so that's why they have these awards. But really that only happens because I have a great publisher, I've had a great mentor, and because of my readers that are around the United States and they buy the books and read them. And so it's not about me, it's about this whole team that is believing in the Western story and moving that forward. For folks who want to see your books, want to purchase your books, how can they get more information about your series? On my website, uh, wildergood.com, and then of course on Amazon or Barnes & Noble, they're on Walmart's website, uh, anywhere you can, you can buy books. If you Google S.J. Dahlstrom or Wilder Good, it'll pop up. Well, I can't think of a better way to be a role model for your English and creative writing students than to be writing books yourself. <laughs> so. Just thank you for what you do for our students and really the example that you're setting on how writing can really be something that's a lifelong thing to enjoy. Well, thank you very much and I'm thankful for Lubbock ISD that gave me a chance. And uh, Hutch is a great place. My old, my old principal, Heidi Dye, she gave me a chance to teach creative writing and I've got creative writing students all around the studio and <laughs> all around Lubbock now. And so, you know, that's, that's really fulfilling that I get to do something, but I get to teach it. And those, that, those skills go on and grow. So Absolutely. very thankful. Awesome. Well, thank you for being with us today. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Of course.